There are plenty of successful celebrity siblings in Hollywood like Jake and Maggie Gyllenhaal, Luke and Owen Wilson, and Ben and Casey Affleck, just to name a few. But it's hard for anyone to make it in the entertainment biz even if you have a famous big bro or sis to give you a leg up on the competition. So for every star sibling who did manage to carve out their own career, there are plenty more still toiling away in the shadows of their more famous kin. These are some celebrity siblings who only got a sliver of screen time. Andrew and Matthew Lawrence While older brother Joey has navigated his way from being a child star on Give Me a Break to huge hits with Blossom and then Melissa and Joey, Whoa, unbelievable. his younger brothers Andrew and Matthew didn't have quite the same luck. Andrew and Matthew both played younger versions of Joey on Blossom, then went on to star alongside their big bro in the sitcom Brotherly Love. Matthew, who had already starred in Mrs. Doubtfire at this point, went on to a pretty decent run on Boy Meets World, followed by a career-cooling part in The Hot Chick with Rob Schneider. Hello. I should have made love to you when I had the chance. Dude, who was that? I think it was my old camp counselor. Andrew went to voice work on the Disney series Recess, then a steady string of one-off appearances on network procedural shows like CSI NY, Bones, CSI Cyber, and NCIS Los Angeles. Both of the younger Lawrence boys also ended up back on Joey's coattails for small parts on Melissa and Joey. Haley Duff Back in 2004, 2020 interviewed the Duff sisters and asked them point blank if Hillary's success caused any tension in the relationship. Haley's reply was, We never really thought about it before. Hillary said her sister's future was just a matter of timing. Haley went on to release her own albums, write songs for Hillary, and star in her own list of movies and TV shows, including Seventh Heaven. But if you ask the majority of people what they know her from, they'd probably say, She's the girl from Napoleon Dynamite. The world seems to only have an appetite for one Duff family superstar. Haley most recently switched gears and started her blog, The Real Girl's Kitchen. The new culinary direction seems to be Haley's lane, and she now has a cookbook, two cooking series, and has been a guest on many more food-related shows like Chopped Jr., Food Network Star, and Beat Bobby Flay. Michael Buscemi Steve Buscemi is a veteran character actor who was able to make the leap into a leading role on HBO's Boardwalk Empire. That's a significant accomplishment for any actor, let alone one who's made a career out of playing supporting roles. And though his infamous mug seems like it's one of a kind, there is another Buscemi, Steve's younger brother Michael, and they're practically twins. Michael is also an actor, although his recognizable credits are mostly from movies that Steve was also in, like I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry, Interview, and Blended. Michael and Steve, look at you two. The amount of money your parents must have saved on Halloween masks. The Buscemi boys now star together on Steve's AOL series Park Bench, a short-format interview show in the style of Jerry Seinfeld's Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. They even use their similar looks for a gag on the show where Michael hosts a fictional rival show called Bench Talk, in which he steals guests from Steve. We're doing a show, uh, you know, called Park Bench. What's the name of your show? Bench Talk. Bench talk? Bench talk. Bench talk. When asked by Fast Company how he feels about working in the shadow of his brother all these years, Michael said, Imagine you're a good plumber, and your brother is a good plumber as well and is getting a lot of business. They're talking about him, you know, and you say, Well, I'm a plumber, I can fix your toilet. But instead they're saying, Well, I know this great, great plumber. Steve's response to that was, You know, he's a pretty great plumber himself. Joe Estevez Joe Estevez is Martin Sheen's younger brother and, of course, the uncle of actors Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen. He's also by far the busiest actor out of all the lesser-known siblings on this list, with an astonishing 277 credits on his IMDb page, including 18 credits in 2010 alone. But he did get his start on one of the most critically acclaimed films of all time, Apocalypse Now. In an interview on The Shane Devins Show, he shared about a call he got from director Francis Ford Coppola. So he called me to... Uh to San Francisco to, uh, to do the narration on Apocalypse Now. But that's my voice on Apocalypse Now, doing the narration. After standing in and taking over narration for his brother as Captain Willard in the Vietnam War epic, Joe returned to his budding B-movie legacy and never looked back. A former factory worker, Joe brought his blue-collar work ethic right onto the set with him. I think myself, like most actors, we like to work, you know, we'll do our 10, 12 hours, 13 hours a day, go home and go to bed. Daniel Baldwin 
Any of the Baldwins other than Alec could probably make this list, but Stephen and Billy both had brief flings with mainstream success. So for this list, we're going to focus on Daniel. The peak of his fame was in the early 90s with his stint on Homicide, Life on the Street. By that time, he'd already developed a detrimental drug habit. I'm a straight-up cocaine addict. Uh, I don't really drink very much, although I have abused alcohol in the past. And I don't use any other drugs. I don't take pills, I don't do anything." Though he continued to work steadily in B-movies and TV bit parts, his career was constantly interrupted by arrests for wild behavior related to his drug use. Like his nude, drug-fueled rampage in a plaza hotel suite in 1998, which got him arrested and slapped with drug possession charges. He continued the cycle of getting clean, then relapsing for years. I went to rehab nine times. Uh, and it wasn't until I went to this facility that I really learned what I needed to do to stay sober long-term and reclaim my life." Neil Connery You wouldn't think anyone would consider it a good idea to try to break into Hollywood by spoofing their wildly successful brother's most popular character. But that's exactly how Neil Connery, yes, Sean Connery's younger brother, attempted to do it in 1967 with the film Operation Kid Brother. Neil Connery is too much. In the movie, Neil Connery stars as Dr. Neil Connery, a surgeon who gets wrapped up in some kind of evil plot by a group of supervillains who plan to hijack nuclear weapons. In the end, he has an archery battle with the main villain because at that point they weren't even trying to make any kind of sense anymore. The movie also didn't even try to pretend it wasn't a James Bond ripoff, going so far as casting previous Bond film stars. Needless to say, Operation Kid Brother did not send Neil Connery to the top of the A-list, or even the D-list for that matter. With a total of 10 acting credits to his name, Connery mostly worked as a plasterer until an accident in 1983 also derailed that career. Still, is it too much to ask for there to be an unknown Daniel Radcliffe sibling out there just waiting for someone to greenlight a Harry Potter spoof called Kid Wizard, Do My Parents Even Care I'm Alive? Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!